is Tony Jones. Luton Town's steady climb up the table hasn't been good enough to win David Pleat, the First Division's Manager of the Month award for November. Not that he'll mind too much because Pleat knows that he'd prefer to be judged on what this Luton team achieve over the entire season. It's looking good at the moment though, fifth in the table and beaten in four games. Even their home record is looking better after waiting two months for their first win. Des Linton had to wait over three months to figure in the starting lineup again. And having come in for Dwight Marshall at Swindon last week, he keeps his place in midfield, even though Marshall has recovered from a calf injury. Scott Oakes, who scored one of the goals in the 2-1 win at Swindon, continues in a more attacking role alongside Kerry Dixon. Sheffield United have struggled following their relegation from the Premiership. Injuries haven't helped manager Dave Bassett, who's been told there's no money available to make the signings, which could strengthen his squad. And with top scorer Dane Whitehouse injured, there's a return in attack for Andy Scott, who came on as a substitute in last Saturday's 2-0 win over South End. Today's referee is Peter Folks of Clacton. Well, it's only six weeks since Luton and Sheffield United met in the league at Bramall Lane. Luton won that one 3-1 with goals from James, Dixon and Gale, an own goal that one, after Nathan Blake had put Sheffield United ahead. But Luton looking for their first double of the season, but nothing should be taken for granted. Their home form has been outrageously erratic. Johnson then from Luton. Finds Dixon and Gale was quick to cut that ball out. Offside flag against Oaks. Kerry Dixon, five goals in the league already this season, keeping John Hartson out. Scarborough. The challenge by James. Now it's Linton. Waddick switches things again to bring in Mitchell Thomas. Bounces off Dixon's chest. And that was a fairly hefty challenge. Cole Beard bundled over by Mitchell Thomas. But he concedes a free kick. It's a free kick which Gage will take for Sheffield United. The big men have gone forward. Gale is at the far post. There's Gale. Gets the header in. And that was a great save by Summer. It was a lovely free kick by Kevin Gage. Gale was forward. Sommer had to get a hand to that. Jürgen Sommer's been in inspired form for Luton just lately. And he needed to be at his best then. Nielsen chips that ball forward, but it's won back by James. Linton gets a foot in, appeals for handball by Dixon. Here's Gale. Beard has made the diagonal run, but Luton win the ball back. It's a bit too tight in that corner, they need to get it away. Here's Beard, very nearly gets that ball through. Penalty this time, maybe. Don't need it. They've scored, Sheffield United ahead through Kevin Gage. 13 minutes gone. And Sheffield United in front. Luton struggled to get that ball away. A suspicion of handball. Then he went flying, but Gage was already through. And the goal stands. Well, problems already for Luton Town. On comes Dwight Marshall. Because David Priest has limped out of this game. After just 15 minutes. And Priest clearly in some discomfort. The knock he took on his right ankle has ruled him out. Barely a third of the way through the first half. James for Luton. It's too high for Dixon, but Marshall won't give up the cause just yet. Gale gives away the throw in. Here's Marshall. He'll do well to keep that in. He succeeded. Dixon gets the header in. Off the post. Oh, dear me. How did Oakes miss that? And Dixon too. Neither of them can quite believe it. 
the flag stayed down they thought that ball had gone out but Dixon carried on so did Marshall Dixon's header comes back off the post and then you'd say Oaks was the favourite but not to score here's Viet Gage again he's added valuable support to the Sheffield United attacks Viet he could cause some problems if he gets to the byline he's doing everything himself here's Gage and that's a second he can't believe it well again it looked as though Sheffield United might have appealed for a penalty not that Kevin Gage is too bothered Beard seemed to have done a little bit too much he stumbled he made a meal of that there's no doubt about it but Gage went on and it's under Sommer's body and that's his second goal of the game Looking very, very easy this for Sheffield United so far. Two goals up. They look well organised. But now Marshall. Not too organised there at the back. Here's Marshall and he's let it go too far. Gage across the cover. Oaks then with the corner. Thomas is up. So too is Johnson. Now James. He's lost it. Away comes Scott. He's away, and surely there's problems here for Gary Waddock. It could be the red card. Well, Gary Waddock now must realise he's in some trouble. What's the colour of the card? What's Peter Folks decided? It's the red card, and Gary Waddock is on. David Pleat not too happy. Gage again, he's through for his hat-trick, oh, denied at the last, well that was a defender's finish unfortunately, but Kevin Gage, playing at right back today, has almost got a first half hat-trick. Dramatic readjustment to the Luton lineup now, just three at the back. James, Johnson and Peake. Mitchell Thomas pushed into midfield. Hartson playing up front with Dwight Marshall. Dale now for Sheffield United. Beasley is uh, caught in possession. Marshall is nudged off that ball by Nielsen. He didn't know where it went to. Oh, he's given it away. Beard, Scott is alongside him, if he can find him. Beard goes on and cracks a fabulous goal. Carl Beard. Carl Beard puts Sheffield United three up after seven minutes of the second half. With some help, it has to be said from Mitchell Thomas. Beard was allowed to go on, having picked that ball up in midfield. Peake and Johnson were across to cover, but there was no answer to that shot. Johnson cuts that out. Here's Oakes. Marshall is wide on the right. And Oakes finds him. James has made a forward run. He could be through here, Julian James. Now, surely for Luton. They've got one at last. John Hartson. And they want to get it started quickly. There's Julian James. He was forward quickly. There's determination in his eyes now. It was Marshall's through ball. James had continued his run forward. He got round the back. And there was Hartson to keep Luton back in it. A great run from Julian James. He wants more effort now. Maybe this isn't a lost cause now for Luton. Thomas has pushed himself even further forward now but there are clearly gaps at the back now for Luton 
gaps which maybe Sheffield United can exploit. Cheeky little back heel. Here's Hodges. He could be through now. That will settle it. Glenn Hodges makes it 4 1. The Wimbledon connection working for Dave Bassett and Sheffield United there. There was always a danger that holes would be left in the Luton defence, but Hodges did well to get back on his feet. Lovely back heel from Beard. And once he was round James, there was no stopping him. Marvin Johnson, one of just three at the back now for Luton. They've pushed as many people as possible forward. Here's Telfer. Closed down quickly though. Marshall's free. James has made another forward run. Decides to find the cross. Oh, and that's a dreadful on goal. Well, they deserve some luck. And they got it then. Dwight Marshall's cross. And poor old Brian Gale facing his own goal. He was under a bit of pressure, but that's a striker's header from the defender. Well, you wouldn't see a better finish than that. Suddenly, it's past his own goalkeeper. This has been some game, it has to be said. The quality of the play hasn't been exceptional, but the goals are coming thick and fast. David Pleat's actually on the pitch now trying to encourage his men forward even further and he's going to be in some trouble. Peter Folks, the referee from Clacton, is across to have a word with him. Well, Luton down to 10 men, they were back up to 11 then because David Pleat was clearly on the pitch. He wants his men forward, he's really getting involved now. The push then, was it by Gage? Luton now a penalty. Kevin Gage can't quite believe it but as the cross came in there was a push on the back Johnson forward to take it and scores Marvin Johnson his first goal of the season and it came at a very important time for Luton Oaks Tries to find Hartson, but Gale is away with the header. Now it's Rogers. It's one back. Telfer. He looks cool and composed, even if everybody else is screaming. Marshall. Inviting cross again then for Hartson. Marshall gets a foot in. So too does Hartson. They're playing with great passion now, Luton Town. Here's Oaks. Can he get round Nielsen? Well, he's almost done it. Play on, says the referee. Telfer's cross. Dixon's header, just over the top. Telfer's cross. Dixon on the end of it. And eventually it was Gale who got that one over. Hartson up. Touch on to Dixon. Dixon through, surely. Maybe now, it's wide! They get a corner. It was Nielsen who denied him then. Dixon can't quite believe it. Gale missed out then, Dixon was through. Great save though by Kelly. And then Nielsen just got his foot across to deny Dixon a second time. Header on, good save, good catch that time by Kelly. He's keeping Sheffield United in it now, Alan Kelly. It was a curling header, and it was important that Kelly got there. But at the other end, it's been run in, and Sheffield United get a fifth goal. Andy Scott gets the goal he's deserved. Luton were always likely to be caught. They were pushing so many men forward. 
the lone defender was James he tried to head back to his goalkeeper but Scott had the easiest of opportunities to get the goal which makes it 5-3 Gage is forward he's got Veert and Scott on the edge of the penalty area they're happy to keep control now Veert with a header and that's another one Carl Veert a second for him Rogers started to create that move deep in midfield great cross Veert great header long way into injury time but still Sheffield United are coming forward still they're looking for more goals his flow header that time it came away off Ward but Ward doesn't find the target it's the end of an astonishing game at Kenilworth Road two goals from Kevin Gage in the first half gave Sheffield the United the cushion that they needed plenty of action and plenty of goals after Gary Waddock had been sent off for Luton but at the end two goals from the Australian Carl Beard effectively settled things and this was always going to be a tough examination of Luton Town's credentials as promotion candidates you have to say that today it's one that they failed an astonishing scoreline at Kenilworth Road Luton Town 3 Sheffield United 6 the manager said at half time we might as well lose 5 so uh we managed to let six in at the back in the end, but uh, we did have as much of a go as I think we could have done. We got it to 4-3 and Kerry Dixon was through, I think. Uh, should that have levelled the game at 4-all, uh, it might have been different. Having gone two down, losing a player sent off and then losing an influential passing player, Priest, and then Des Linton with a groin injury and having two forward players on the bench, we were really up against it. I thought in view of that, at half-time, the way we organised and came back was magnificent, but it wasn't enough. To be honest, for... For 15, 20 minutes they had a real go at us and they deservedly got back in the game. And as I say, we had a little bit of luck at 4-3, um, a little bit of bad luck before that with the, um, the own goal and, and the penalty that was maybe a bit dubious. And uh, we just went up the other end and scored, which like killed the game off. But it really could have gone any way at one stage. You know, when you're going well, the last thing people think about who are on the periphery of the club is, what if we have injuries? What if we have suspensions? We've got Waddock missing now. Uh, we could have two or three players missing of senior status and um, then we'll really be tested, I think. And of course, I've said that all along. Well, we could do with the...